Welcome back. It's been a while. Oh, it's uh, 6 Celsius. I think it's 36, 37 Fahrenheit. It's really cold outside. Um, at least here in the East Coast it is. So if you're in the West or the South, you're a little bit more lucky than I am. Um, in order to heat it up, I have to either turn on the furnace or I have something new today. That's right. I have the new portable buddy by Mr. Heater. And this is a propane portable small heater that can generate 4,000 on low and 9,000 BTUs on high. And uh, I'm happy I have it. Now I can quickly heat this cabin up and, uh, and be toasty. And yes, of course, I know this is propane and I have to be careful about carbon monoxide. And uh, while operating this, I have to have one or two windows open at least one inches. So um, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna test it out and see how it goes. And I also purchased this stove fan, the heat obviously, as you know, rises. You don't want to have that all valuable heat just disappear and rise into the ceiling. Instead, you want to blow it into any direction you want it to go to. And that way you can distribute the uh, heat quickly and at the areas that you actually want it to be. So I bought this uh, fan, which technically um, sits on top of the heater right here and then it's a it's a thermoelectrical fan so no batteries no nothing you don't need to put it into electricity or whatever so all it does that little metal bar right there um, with the heat it expands or lifts or something like that and next thing I know it's um, the fan works and it's great and this one also has few safety uh, features that I like. Uh, it's got the uh, uh, tip over safety, meaning if it for any reason tips over, it will automatically uh, stop from working. And also it has a um, uh, low oxygen uh, detector safety feature. So if the oxygen basically depletes in the cabin and if you did not um, open your windows or there's not enough oxygen coming in, so it detects that and shuts itself off. So that's actually a good added feature. And I have my smoke detector and the carbon monoxide detector right there. So I should be fine, I feel safe. And I'm not gonna be running this all night long or anything like that, unattended, definitely not. This is just to take that initial cold, the crisp air in the cabin. And then I turn this off and then I start my furnace. So that way the furnace and um, it doesn't uh, consume energy or as much as propane um, until the cabin gets, you know, all heated up to a certain level. So this does the initial job. My onboard furnace does the rest. So I just wanted to uh, share that with you and show how it works. So what you do is uh, you screw in the small canister onto the heater on the side and then you go ahead and press and turn. There you go. The pilot light ignites. You keep it pressed down for like 10, 15 seconds so that the pilot stays on steadily. Then you let go as, like, as you can see. And let's not forget to crack the windows open. There we go. This one here, and I'm gonna do the same on this side. There we go, enough oxygen take. All right, so the pilot is going on. Then you just turn it to low. I don't know if you can see it, but this whole, I think it's a ceramic wall. It's just uh, started. And it's really immediately hot. Obviously the heat rises. So all the heat actually is right here above. 
and we want to direct it into the cabin so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna attach this stove fan and the rest is just uh, heat beautiful cozy heat so the stove fan comes with this uh, little adapter um, so that it can be hung here onto the railing and then you just put this in here and you just wait there you go the fan just started to turn and this is all thermo electricity nothing else and I can feel that heat coming right at me. That's beautiful. And I love it because it's so light and it's got this beautiful handle here. I can just uh, lift it up and carry it to anywhere I want. Outdoors, indoors in a sense. As long as I have my windows cracked open, I'm good. Yeah, it works and it definitely is very quick and right now I'm keeping it only on low that's like 4000 BTUs and if I wanted to switch to high there you go I just uh, switched the knob over to high and now it's supposed to give me 9000 BTUs and for this such a small cabin this is wonders and and I kid you not this is super silent super efficient um, I don't know how to explain it uh, any better. It works. And uh, yeah, just don't forget to make sure that you have your windows open, there's enough oxygen intake, and make sure that your carbon monoxide detector is on and the battery is good to go. I, I know uh, probably it's safe, everybody is using it, and I've seen so many RV and van life individuals are, that use this say that it's extremely safe, it's fine, but you know, you never know. Um, so far so good I'm enjoying this this is really warm and cozy now here and um, in fact I'm gonna turn this off and turn on my uh, RV's uh, furnace because this did what it's supposed to do it took off all that initial cold air and now it's nice and toasty in here so the the furnace will not have to put an extra effort to get that initial cold out of here Less than 10 minutes and the temperature went from 34 Fahrenheit to 66 and rising. 68, 70. Wow, only 10 minutes of uh, working the Mr. Heater, Mr. Buddy, and I have 75 Fahrenheit. Low was 34, now it's 75. Well, I have nothing wrong to say about this device. It works. If you have any questions or comments, please enter them below in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. And until the next time, I'll see you on the road.